I'm Brett Shuckerman, and we are here at the carpet arrivals right here where the limos pull up, where all the stars get out. It is a big, exciting night. It's a new decade, and there are new rules. The scream is a classic, and uh, there's always some pressure, but it's exciting because you know you're gonna you're gonna make history. So. Let's hope you know that's I, I do a good job. We had a lot of time that we got to spend together. Um, the old generation cast and the new generation cast. We did a lot of things together and then separately as well. There was a weekend that Emma and uh, Hayden and I went to Miami for the weekend. I think that means that uh, Scary Movie Five is in the works for me to parody parody myself again. Wes Craven directing movie. I was intimidated as heck, like super nervous because I didn't know what to expect because he's been around forever. I'm like relatively new working with this amazing cast, and he turned out to be a doll, just like the biggest sweetheart in the world. I do like scary movies, actually. It's such a love-hate relationship because I love scary movies, but I don't like to watch them by myself because um, I need to cling on to another human being. It's just such an amazing thing to be part of a franchise that people line up and are really excited about, and you know, to be able to play a character I really love and can find humor in and act opposite my wife. and. Just have a great time. It's really fun. Working with Rex Crave is just a dream. He's one of the best in the world, and uh, I just I love him. I love the whole cast and the crew. We have amazing new young actors in it, and it's all been a real blast. So I like to continue to change it up, and this character is is much bitchier than either of my <laughs> other characters. Uh, <laughs> so that was fun to kind of take on that more cutthroat attitude, pun intended. I love romantic comedies, whatever, westerns, period pieces, but um, but I certainly love the horror genre, and and I think the scream genre is its own unique genre, like the, the way it captures how it's so funny and so terrifying at the same time. We spent all of our time together, we still do, I mean I met some of my best friends on this movie, and here we are tonight. I was huge fans, um, especially the first scream, because it was so kind of shocking and sort of different for within that genre, um, and uh, I, uh, I just wanted to be a part of it. It was so much fun. Well, I mean, new media is a whole big conversation, but as far as this movie's relevance this many years later, I think what Scream did when it came out was kind of redefine what the genre was because everyone's aware of the rules of cinematic horror. And so now it's post that. I think we found a, just a fabulous cast. Very, very excited about it. And I, you know, they're, they're already very experienced young actors. So it wasn't like I was teaching anybody how to act. I was really just grabbing these great talents on their way up. Yeah, it was hilarious, like, getting, seeing everyone get together, because, like, Hayden I'd met in passing so many times, Nico and Rory I'd worked with, and it was kind of all like, hey, we all kind of know each other, but don't, so we all got to really know each other. It was like summer camp all summer. I've done it twice now. I've played cops. Playing a dumb, like, a dumb person with a gun is so <laughs> fun. It's, I love it. So excited and so happy that I got to be a part of something so iconic. Um, but, you know, big shoes to fill stepping into a franchise like this that you already have such the bar set so high. Um, but the cast has been phenomenal, so welcoming. Wes was, Wes was awesome. She's a fighter in this one. It's yeah. 10 years later. She's no longer a victim. She's a fighter. She's very strong. And, and she's a guide as well. Um, it's, well, because it's been 10 years, she's now, um, she's bored with her life. She, you know, she can't, she's got writer's block and she needs to, you know, have some more excitement. And luckily, Sydney Prescott comes into town and murders start to happen, and that makes her very happy. Don't forget, Scream is in theaters this Friday, and uh, you can come back to nowlive.com anytime for more movie premieres. We're always going to be out here doing this stuff. It's great. That's right, and we're so glad you guys are a part of it. Stay tuned. Keep sending us your questions. Keep participating, and we're going to keep getting you on the best carpets. Thank you so much, guys. Check out Scream 4. Good night. Good night.